everybody. Welcome to Emma and Auntie's adventure. Here we go. <laughs> One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. He's in our minds, I cannot wait. One, two, three, four, let's explore. Hermione, bodies, and so much more. Five, six, seven, eight, open the gate. Emma? Emma? Hmm. I wonder where Emma is. Her mom told me she brought her here. Hmm. I see a black cat and a broom. Interesting. I wonder what could be going on. Hmm. I just don't know where she is. Boo! Ah! <laughs> you got me! I knew I would get you! Oh my goodness! That was a good one, Emma. Thanks, Auntie. I'm going to be the most amazing witch for Halloween. I even have a black cat and a broom. And I'm practicing my scary skills so I can get tons and tons of candy. Oh, Emma, you definitely don't need any more candy. Auntie, kids always need more candy. <laughs> that seems to be the case, Emma. So, Auntie, why do our bodies get scared? Either for me hiding and scaring you, or or if, if, if I see a, a spider. Um, like, why do we get so scared all the time? What's going on? Great question, Emma. Well, to understand fear and why we get scared, we first have to start with cute and not so scary babies. Okay, Auntie, let's talk about it. Okay, so as babies, that is when we first start to experience fear. Babies communicate their needs to adults through fear. It could be that they are scared of mom leaving the room, or a fear of not being able to eat, or a fear that their diaper won't be changed. They have so many fears, and they show they're scared through crying. They cry, and mom picks them up. Then they cry and mom bees them or changes them. And it's through these fears that babies have learned to survive. As we get older, we now start to understand what we are afraid of. Sometimes those fears are real things like spiders. And sometimes they're pretend things like monsters under our bed in the dark. So no matter what we're afraid of, our mind is playing tricks with us, thinking we are scared and that we can't survive. Let me explain. So in our mind, spiders or monsters under our bed are very scary. In fact, they're so scary that we need to be able to run fast away from them, or so we think. So our body turns on our fight and flight pathway in the brain. Ooh, what's that, Auntie? So when we're scared, nerves send signals to the brain. Yikes, Emma is scared. Let's get out of here. Suddenly, everything in our brain is turned on so we can act fast to fight or flight. So fight would be to fight off the danger, like for us to hit the spider off of us. Or flight would be to run away fast from the spider as fast as we can. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to do any fighting of spiders, Auntie. I think I'll be doing the flight. Thank you. <laughs> Understood, Emma. Okay, so what has to happen to our body to prepare us to fight or flight? Well, we have to be able to use our arms and legs quickly. So blood has to pump to our arms and legs very fast. For that, our heart has to pump fast. Our lungs have to breathe faster. And so we can get blood to our arms and legs quickly. And also we may start to sweat to cool down our body. And this all has to happen in a matter of seconds. Wow, Auntie. So when we see something that scares us, that triggers a reaction in our brain from something called the amygdala. Can you say amygdala, Emma? Hmm, amygdala, Auntie. Great. Okay, so you see a spider, and then within seconds, your amygdala in the brain turns on. All right, body, Emma needs to get away from this spider right now. Let's go. 
when that happens, chemicals are released immediately that send signals to the body to get ready to run. The blood vessels begin to get larger to pump blood. The heart then pumps faster. The lungs breathe quicker. The blood pumps, giving blood and sugar quickly to the muscles, giving them energy to be able to run or fight in a matter of seconds. Wow, Auntie. Now, interesting enough, Let's say I throw a pretend spider on you. At first, you may scream and be scared, but then you stop and realize, hey, that's not a real spider, I'm okay. There is another part of the brain called the hippocampus. Can you say hippocampus, Emma? Um, yes, hippocampus, Auntie, great. So the hippocampus, along with other parts of your brain, tells the amygdala, hey, calm down, abort mission, this isn't a real spider, Emma doesn't need to run, let's calm down. And in a matter of seconds, the fight and flight response is turned off. Wow, Auntie, our brains sure are smart. Yes, they are. All right, Emma, let's sing a fun song about the fight and flight system to help us remember what we just learned. Great, Auntie, let's do it. All right, everybody, it's time to sing a spooky song about our fight and flight system. No need to be scared, not when our body is on the job. All right, everybody, here we go. Monsters hiding in Yes, it is, Emma. All right, time to work on my scaring skills. Let's go practice outside. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Hey, everyone. If you like all these types of videos and you want to see more of Auntie and I, please subscribe and hit that notification button so that way you can see more videos just like this. Yeah. We can't wait to show more about the human body and help you learn. Click that like button, please.